Since I uploaded my last video, various streaming platforms have released new LGBT movies and TV shows. I wanted to highlight the best to make your life easier. In the comment section, let me know which projects you learned about for the first time and which projects you plan to watch. And also, I want to give a big thank you to all of the new members who joined my channel recently. Because of your support, I'm able to continue creating these videos. Thank you for supporting my channel. Now, stay tuned. Sublet is an Israeli-American drama centering around Michael, a writer who travels to Tel Aviv for work. An integral part of the story is that Michael wrote a book about New York City during the peak of the AIDS crisis. He lost a friend to AIDS and is scarred from that in a recent trauma. That trauma informs how he behaves. Instead of staying at a hotel, Michael sublets an apartment from a film student. The student offers to be his tour guide to explore the city through a local's eyes. What I love about the two characters is the intergenerational differences between them. It helped illuminate their perspective on life. Caution versus go with the flow only vibes. However, unexpectedly, the film moves into the genre of daddy-son fantasy, but that plot line doesn't resolve the internal conflict. The film is worth seeing, though. The director, Ethan Fox, also directed the critically acclaimed gay film You See and Jagger. Sublet has a 91% rating on Rotten Tomatoes. The film is available via HBO Max right now. Young Royals, a Netflix original, is a coming-of-age drama out of Sweden. The show revolves around Prince Wilhelm, the youngest son of the Swedish royal family. The prince's parents send him to a boarding school where he develops a romantic relationship with another male student, Simon. Simon is a non-residential student who lives with his lower middle-class family. Young Royals addresses the intersections of race, privilege, and class in a beautifully written story. It also highlights non-traditional Swedish beauty and a character who is on the autism spectrum. In terms of race, two of the main characters are people of color and other people of color appear in the series. And in this diverse world, all the characters are realistically presented. If you enjoy teen-led dramas or The Crown on Netflix, then you might enjoy Young Royals. The show has a 100% rating on Rotten Tomatoes. Season 1 premiered in July 2021. Season 2 premieres in November. But you can watch the first four minutes of Episode 1 on Netflix's YouTube channel right now. Matthias and Maxima, or Maxima, is a French-Canadian drama about two childhood friends. Their passion for each other is reignited when they share a kiss for a film project. As a result, both men question their friendship and sexual attraction. Matt is straight and Max is gay. The director, Xavier Dolan, also wrote the script and stars as Max. He is quite controversial and many of his films tackle hyper-masculinity and internalized homophobia. The film addresses those issues as well. At its core, Matthias and Maxima tells a universal story that has a beating heart and complexity. The film is visually beautiful and presents powerful performances. If you enjoy French Canadian culture or dramas with romantic themes, then you might enjoy Matthias and Maxima. The film is available via the website Mubi. Mubi is a curated film streaming platform, production company, and film distributor, carrying a large number of LGBT titles. The Spanish series Maricón Perdido translates as hopeless F-word. The title in English markets, for obvious reasons, is Queer You Are. Queer You Are is a coming-of-age dramedy about a boy searching for his identity. The story centers around Roberto and follows him as a young boy in his small town to being an overweight teenager in the 80s, to being a college student in Madrid, and to his current life as a professional writer. The show developed by Bob Pop is a fictionalized version of his own life. Bob Pop is the stage name for Roberto Enriquez. Bob Pop plays the older version of himself. This is a photo of him with the younger actors playing him. One of my favorite actresses, Alba Flores from Money Heist and Locked Up also stars in Queer You Are. The six episode series premiered in 2021 
and won a GLAAD Media Award for Outstanding Spanish Language Scripted TV Series. If you enjoy Spanish language content or dramedies, then you might enjoy Queer You Are. The show is available on HBO Max with English subtitles right now. I Am Samuel is a documentary that follows the titular character who is gay navigating life in the ultra-conservative country of Kenya. The pervasiveness of religion in the everyday lives of Kenyans has created and supported cultural homophobia. Many LGBT Kenyans rather hide their identity than expose themselves. Samuel's father is a preacher and continually questions why he isn't married. After moving from the countryside to Nairobi, Samuel finds freedom that he has been longing for, as well as community. He also finds a boyfriend, Alex. Both Sam and Alex long to be accepted by their families as they are, but they also fear traveling down that path. The Kenya Film Classification Board banned I Am Samuel due to its positive representation of LGBT lives and same-sex marriage. Homosexuality is illegal in Kenya due to Article 165 of the Penal Code dating back to British colonialism, which says a man shall not commit any act of gross indecency with another male person, whether in public or in private. So watching this film is an act of protest. People in the US and the UK can watch the film on Apple TV. People in Africa can watch it on AfriDocs, a streaming site for African and international documentaries. Once a Year on Blackpool Sands is a UK drama based on the play of the same name. The play took inspiration from a real couple who took part in one of the first protests for gay rights in Blackpool Sands. Blackpool Sands is a beach near Dartmouth in Devon, England. The film tells the story of two gay miners who were secret lovers in the 1950s. Their love, which they fought to protect, was wrapped in an abundance of precaution, panic, and audacity. Their annual trip to Blackpool was an escape from the oppression surrounding them and the expectations of masculinity, especially in a blue-collar job. Trigger warning, the film deals with trauma, death, and AIDS. The film opens in the 1980s. The lovers, Eddie and Tommy, are surrounded by friends as they die of AIDS in each other's arms. Through a young man who sits with them, we learn their story. The story becomes jumbled with too many characters and feels like two different stories at times. However, what it lacks in tight script development, it makes up for it with incredible performances by the two main actors. If you enjoy low-budget indie films with strong leads, then you might enjoy Once a Year on Blackpool Sands. It will be available on TLAgay.com and Amazon Prime at the end of the month. Isaac is a drama out of Spain. In the film, two friends, Nacho and Dennis, who are complete opposites, cross paths after 16 years. Nacho and his wife, Marta, are a bourgeois traditional couple with the perfect life, but they're trying to conceive a child. Dennis and his partner, Carmen, live hand to mouth and are desperately trying to secure funding to open a restaurant. After Dennis offers to be their surrogate in exchange for the money needed to open the restaurant, the two couples seek the happiness that they haven't yet found, even if it means breaking their own rules. What I love about Isaac is the tenderness shown between the two male leads, both as adults and in their younger years, also where other films with married men exploring their sexuality leave the wives out of the story, Isaac places them front and center. If you enjoy emotionally intense foreign films, then you might enjoy Isaac. Isaac is available via Deku. Flames is a 13-minute short by my favorite husband and husband directing team, DeAndre and Quincy Gosfield. In the dramatic short, two friends, Ahmad and Sadiq, venture out to the woods to celebrate Ahmad graduating from high school. An intimate moment from their past that was long buried is dug up. Within 13 minutes, a distinct cinematic world is created. The cinematography is gorgeous, the acting is believable. I think the end is compressed and needs more breathing room. Another issue I have with this 
is the usage of the N-word. The word is repeated throughout the film and it pulls me out of the fantasy. I wish there was a PG-13 version of the film to fully enjoy it. Lena Waithe and Indeed, the job listing site, produced the film through the Rising Voices program. DeAndre wrote the script and the husbands directed it together. If you enjoy black lab projects, then you might enjoy Flames. Flames is available via Amazon Prime Video for free. Prisma is an Italian coming-of-age drama following identical twins, Andrea and Marco. Marco is straight and Andrea is exploring their identity and gender expression. Andrea secretly wears women's attire and messages men on an app pretending to be a woman. The performances are solid from the entire cast. The script is fresh and representative of the issues that teens are dealing with today. What I love most is how gender fluidness and sexual exploration are handled with sensitivity and how the storyline moves between the present day and the past. If you enjoy teen-led projects, then you might enjoy Prisma. Prisma is available via Amazon Prime Video right now. Woke is a political drama out of France following a young Muslim man, Hisham, who flees his home in search of an activist who works at an LGBT center in Lyon. Both of them are dragged into a hate crime case against a refugee that upends their lives. Woke deals with the intersections of religion, homophobia, and being an immigrant, along with self-discovery, liberation, and the importance of activism. The cast is incredible, as well as the cinematography. The title refers to one of the main characters coming out as if coming out is like waking up from a dream and finally being able to live life. The first season of Woke debuted in 2017, with a second season following in 2018. The third season premiered at the end of 2021. If you enjoy political dramas, then you might enjoy Woke. Woke is available via Apple TV, Deku, and Amazon Prime Video right now. To Me Monk, I believe that's how you pronounce that, it's a French phrase for I miss you, is a drama out of Bolivia. In the film, a grieving father travels from Bolivia to New York City to confront his dead son's boyfriend. Trigger warning, the son, Gabriel, died by suicide after returning home from New York. The film doesn't follow traditional rules of storytelling and some might not enjoy this element. The film is based on a hit stage play which is credited as having a significant impact on gay acceptance in the ultra-conservative and Catholic country of Bolivia. In the film, Sebastian creates a performance art project as a way to honor Gabrielle's life and help himself heal. The performance art project bleeds into the film in a bold way. Different chronologies and versions of Gabriel drift in and out in a seamless fashion. Overall, the film is emotional without being sentimental. Even though it was originally a stage play and uses some staging from the play, it does not feel like a filmed stage play. The theatrical scenes add depth to the story and are simply beautiful. The scenes with multiple Gabriels are nuanced and methodical. It is dazzling. The film was Bolivia's 2019 Oscar submission for Best International Picture. If you enjoy Pedro Almodovar-esque films or cinema that challenges you intellectually, then you might enjoy Tu Me Monk. Tu Me Monk is available via HBO Max. Also, the film should be required viewing for parents with children who have come out as LGBT or people who are homophobic. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please follow me on Instagram at writervicyates for more about my art and literary projects. And in the comment section, let me know which projects you learned about for the first time and which projects you plan to watch. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel and become a member if you can. And like and share this video. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, have a lovely day. Besos. Mwah.